Welcome to Bruce Tracy Photography. Today we're going to try something new. I'm going to experiment. We're headed to Hawaii, more specifically to the big island of Hawaii, the Kailua Kona area. And what I'm going to do is I'm not bringing a telescope with me. I am not going to be, bring a star tracker with me. I'm just going to bring a tripod and my Canon EOS R, this camera right here. And I'm going to put this on the tripod using a 35 millimeter lens. This guy right here. So these two together on a tripod and that's it. What I want to do is see if I can get any kind of detail at all out of the Orion Nebula. Now it's going to have some really dark skies there because we're out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. There's nothing for hours and hours across that ocean. So it's going to be a dark sky and I'm going to point my camera up at it and see if I can take six second subs. I'm just going to take 10 to 15 six second subs. And the goal is to see can we get any kind of detail at all with just a lens, a camera, and a tripod. Let's go take a look. But before we do, check out my new moon globe up there. My neighbor gave me this levitating moon globe. It's pretty cool. It changes colors. In fact, let me show you. Run through a couple colors. We got orange, green, 14 or 15 different colors. It's pretty awesome. So I got the moon flying right over my shoulder and it spins all day long. Pretty cool. All right, we're headed to Hawaii. Let's see what we can do. Welcome to Kona, Hawaii, here on vacation. I want to take you outside to the patio area and show you the place that I've been taking all kinds of great photographs on this trip. So let's go ahead and take a look outside. So the condo we're staying at, and you'll see that we've got a, a deck out there that goes around both sides. From this deck, I've taken some amazing photographs this week, including out that way. I've been shooting the surfers. Right down here in the tide pools, I'm eating all kinds of great sea life. Over this way, I've gotten some great pictures of dolphins as they actually swim with the swimmers who are snorkeling, which is pretty incredible. Right down that way is the Royal Kona Resort. We're next door to that. And then up here in the night sky, I have gotten some great stuff, including some wonderful sunsets. Uh, I've got some planet photos as the planets were setting out here over the, the horizon. So tonight, we're gonna try to shoot the Orion Nebula using my 35 millimeter lens. And the way that's gonna work is we are gonna take six second subs. I'm gonna try to get seven or eight minutes worth and see if we can get any definition in the Orion Nebula. I think it's gonna work. The clouds are supposed to clear up a little later on. So come with me, I'll bring you back out here once the sun goes down. Well, I forgot to bring the camera outside with me so you won't see me actually taking these shots, but I'm gonna take you to my computer to show you what we came up with. I ended up with 14 six second subs, just barely under a minute and a half but I think I got some detail. That's the goal for this entire experiment, it's just to see if we can get any detail with just a, a regular camera and a tripod and no tracker. Can we see something in deep space without the expensive equipment? Who am I kidding? My camera is a very expensive piece of equipment, but without the telescope and without the tracker. All right, before we get to those though, I wanna show you some of the photos I did take from around the island. Hawaii is beautiful. Here comes some music and some of the photos. When we're done with the photos, I'll take you to the computer and we'll see what we got with Orion's Nebula. Open Sequitor, which is the program that I use to stack my images. I don't have a lot of images for this. I only have 14 images. So we're going to go ahead and highlight all of those. 14 six second images. We're going to see if we can get any detail at all out of the Orion Nebula. So we'll open those up. I don't have any noise images or vignetting images. 
The noise images are your dark frames. The vignetting images are your flat frames. I didn't take any for this project. As you can see, the deck of the people above me is right here at the top of the screen. I couldn't get Orion into the shot without getting some of that in there. So uh, I'm going to see what I can do even with that. Here's the Orion Nebula right in this area here. And you can already see just a little fuzziness of it. Hopefully we can get a little detail out of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and... Nope, this is vignetting images. I want to put these as my output. There we go. Output, I'm going to name this Orion. Save that. Now the only thing I'm going to do here is click on the composite, I'm sorry, the composition align stars. Come down here to select best, best pixels. Slide that all the way over. And that's it. Going to go ahead and start. It should only take about a minute. There's not a whole lot that I need to do here. Okay, my camera battery just died, which isn't a bad thing. You didn't have to watch that whole stacking process. But here we go. This is the stacked image now. This is 14 six-second subs. It's just under a minute and a half. And let's see if we can get any detail whatsoever out of this Orion Nebula. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Come up here to 50%. There we go. That's good enough. You can already see that there's a little detail already showing up right here around the Orion Nebula. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do a couple stretches. Let's see what happens here. Hit the curves. Bring them up a bit. And already, with just a minute and a half with the 35 millimeter camera, you can see that I've got some detail. Let me go and change my levels. Bring those in a bit. Do one more stretch. Go to the curves, bring them up. Come back here to levels, bring them down. And then I am going to go ahead and take my gray point. I'm gonna bounce that around a bit. Good enough right there, I'll move a little. Oh, I like that better, just to get a, a better looking gray in there. Click okay. All right, one last thing I wanna do here is I'm gonna to go to my filter and bring up the camera raw filter. And I'm going to change a couple things. I want to sharpen this up a bit. So let me bring that up, get a better look at it. All right, I'm going to sharpen that up to about, let's go 50. For now, I can always change it later. Noise reduction, I want to bring that up probably around 20. Just to get an idea of what's going on here. Now, optics. I'm going to come down here to optics, and I'm going to mess with the defringe tool. I'm going to grab this little eyedropper get it right on some of this purple oh, worked right there got rid of some of the purple now here's what's pretty cool I was going after the Orion Nebula which is this right here but hey let me bring this back into Photoshop and show you what I'm looking at notice the purple defringing is gone I got rid of that right there but this is pretty cool I've got detail in the Orion Nebula right here but if you look right up here, I think this is Alnitak, the bottom star of the belt of Orion, you can actually see a little bit of a horse head and flame coming through there. This is only a minute and a half, untracked, six second subs with the 35 millimeter lens. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. All right, so you can start to see some of the detail. In fact, you know what, we're gonna do another stretch. Let me go ahead and go to the curves one more time. Stretch it up a little bit more. I don't want to do too much. That's good enough. Come back here to my levels. Uh, where am I going to fix this here? Just darken it up a little bit. That's pretty impressive. So you can already see the detail from the Orion Nebula here. Well, that's too much. Let me zoom that back out. So you've got teeny bit of detail in the middle. Of course, the core is blown out. That's going to happen. Um, you can start to see some of the nebulosity around the outer edge, which is pretty cool from this vantage with the 35 millimeter lens. But most impressive is I've got a little bit of detail up here, up here by Onatak. I hope that's the right name for this star. But the bottom star of Orion's belt, you will see a little bit of the flame nebula, the horse heads in there, but you can see a little bit of the flame. That's pretty cool. I'm going to count this as a success because I am able to see a little bit of that detail, which is way more than I thought I would. Simply with a camera and a tripod 
you can get a little bit of detail. Now let's just say I sat out there and got a hundred shots at six seconds each. You have all that much more detail. So it can be done. You don't have to have a tracker. You don't have to have a telescope. You can still get a little bit of detail out of some of these deep sky nebulas. Thanks for coming along with me today as we were experimenting to see if we could get anything with just a 35 millimeter lens and no star tracker, just a tripod. We did get a little detail. You can get a lot more, I'm sure, if you put more time into it. But I think this experiment was successful. I'll see you guys next time on Bruce Tracy Photography.